Good morning. I'm a steward of the mysteries of Christ, uh, mysteries in the Bible, uh, which has been given to me uh, by God's grace. My name is Ryan McKeel, and this is YBMerelyHuman.com. This morning I'd like to talk to you about stewardship. Uh, I'm in the Glen Erie, uh Conference Area, Resort, Castle, uh, Retreat Center uh, in Colorado Springs. Uh, Glen Erie is run by the Navigators, and uh, they are good stewards. And this morning I'd like to show you that. So, as Christians we've been given liberty. Uh, Galatians 5 talks about this. Um, and it says, For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For all the laws fulfilled in one word, even in this you shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's Galatians 5.13. Galatians 6 also says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who shows, sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. So why do I think this is a good example? Well, Glen Erie, uh, is a beautiful grounds. Uh, it's well kept. It's uh, got a castle that uh, you can actually stay in. And this is by no means a, a sales pitch for Glen Erie Castle, but it is a way to say that this is a group of Christians who have been given something. They've been given grounds and they've done amazing things with it. Uh, they have created a refuge place. They've created a retreat center so that for uh, people who have problems with their marriages or, or just want to uh, experience the love that they uh, once experienced in their marriage, to people who just need to get away from the busyness of life, uh, this is a place where they can do that. Uh, my sister was married here, so it's a beautiful place to, to get married also. Uh, so I want to encourage you in this that in due season, um, you will reap what you sow. Uh, God is not to be mocked. And, and there are many ways uh, in this uh, digital world that we can waste our time and energy and effort. And uh, it's a lie of the devil that, uh, that our time and our energy does not mean anything uh, because it means a lot. Uh, and this is proof that uh, Christians who stick to the path and uh, keep sowing and sowing and sowing um, end up with something beautiful, something to be proud of. And I know that the people who started here, who built up this, did not get to see the, the full glory of it. Uh, maybe they're looking down from heaven and able to see it. But So I guess the lesson learned there is we may not always see the, the fruit of our labor, but in due season we will reap. So uh, I want to show you some of the beauty that is this morning uh, at Glen Erie. They're beautiful, well-kept uh, greens. There's streams and areas to uh, have a devotional time in the morning. There's red rocks, uh, which I've taken another video from. There's This is called the Carriage House, uh, which is a uh, actually where my sister's wedding reception was located. And I think most wonderfully of all, there's a castle. <laughs> and the navigators who have been here have kept care of this. Uh, wonderful thing that the Lord has given them. So, praise the Lord and, and keep to the task. Whatever God has given you, um, keep sowing to that. Uh, because in due season you will have a reward. Thank you. the feeling the Lord was saying I wasn't quite done with that last post, so I want to add this uh, from Psalm 126. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. So I think from that, what the Lord's telling me to say is, sowing is not easy. 
uh, I, a lot of you are in very hard situations uh, with uh, uh, a spouse or a family member or uh, kids or work, things like that. And the devil would like nothing better than to discourage you from what God has given you to do and the roles that he has placed in your life. So even though you may uh, go forth weeping uh, as you're bearing seed for sowing, you shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing your sheaves with you. Uh, I think here the Lord is just saying it's hard and we know that afflictions will come. Paul talks about that. We know that it's not going to be easy. Uh, but more glory to God when it's not easy and through his strength, the promise that he gives us <clears throat> is when we are weak, then he is strong. So I encourage you in that. Even though you may be weeping as you're sowing, you will come back joyful uh, with what you, what you reap, what, what uh, God gives you as the fruit of your labor. So thanks.